Palestinian Islamist group Hamas rampaged through Israeli towns on Saturday, October 7, killing and capturing scores of civilians and soldiers in their biggest surprise attack in decades. The group distributed these videos Saturday inside an Israeli military camp near the border of Gaza. Reuters couldn't immediately verify the videos which display what is said to be bodies of Israeli soldiers brought into Gaza by fighters. Israel then responded with massive airstrikes deep inside the coastal enclave that led to the collapse of buildings and vowed unprecedented retaliation. During a security cabinet meeting, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said, Since this morning the state of Israel has been at war. Our first objective is to clear out enemy forces that infiltrated and restore the security and quiet to the communities that have been attacked. The second objective, at the same time, is to exact an immense price from the enemy within the Gaza Strip too. Hamas leader Ismail Honier said the assault that had begun in Gaza would spread to the West Bank and Jerusalem. This was the morning of defeat and humiliation upon our enemy, its soldiers and its settlers, he said, adding, what happened reveals the greatness of our preparation. What happened today reveals the weakness of the enemy. In southern Israel near Gaza, bullet holes filled the windshield of a car, its bodies were found nearby, while rockets lit up the night sky as fighting progressed into the night. Hamas said it fired 150 of them, Tel Aviv, in retaliation for the Israeli strike that took down a building.